As Stephen Donald took New Zealand past 100 for the fifth time in tests, the side had managed to keep its engine warm for Australia in Brisbane next week. I don't think you want to take any notice of the scoreboard. You know, for us it was a good day. We got a lot of physical contact. We got a game under our belts, which we haven't had for a wee while. Um, you know, it's, it was uh, great for, for Taranaki and, and I think also, you know, in the future Samoa will look back on it and they'll have found some good players out of it as well. With many of Samoa's top players on European club duty, there was a cruel twist to start the route. Up 26-0 after just 16 minutes, New Zealand ran into some issues. Handling errors and difficulty getting the ball off the back of the scrum. While the defence allowed Uali Mai to slip through barely touched. Anthony Tuatavaki was enjoying the space he was given in his fifth test until he fractured a cheekbone. He sidelined for at least six weeks. But the All Blacks regrouped nearing half-time as Muliaina ran in his hat-trick. Stephen Donald scored his first try in black while Asaya Toyava was proving a real handful for the Samoan backline who will play club football back home. Pinball stuff it was, wasn't it? And a nice pass by yeah, Conrad. Yeah, yeah. Alafoti Fausaliva made sure Samoa made some history of its own. It's the first time the side has crossed twice against New Zealand. Boy, this is good stuff. Oh, well, you've always got things to work on, and I mean, we've had a big week training-wise. We trained this morning, we trained yesterday, and the day before, which is not natural for a test match. But you know, as I said, we got we got what we needed to get out of it.